This little boy resides in Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia, and the wealthiest, largest city in the country. However, you wouldn't know it from this picture. This boy sits on broken wood with no shirt or shoes, feet buried in garbage. He seems to help paint a much different picture of a city once known as the Pearl of Asia. The photographer who took this striking image was this man. Hi, my name is Thomas and I am from Malaysia. I am a professional photographer based in Philippines, Cambodia, Indonesia, and Singapore. In 2008, I was visiting this trash mountain called Smoky Mountain in Phnom Penh. Smoky Mountain has since closed, but at the time was Cambodia's largest garbage dump and got its name from its obvious size and the black and gray smoke that rose from its scattered piles of burning trash. It's not a place you would want to visit, let alone work. This series of images is about this boy called Tira. He is from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. He is a scavenger boy who worked in the trash mountain. Tira's childhood was rather difficult, and often he left hungry without food. He has to stop school in order to work in the landfill, collecting items that could be sold to the many junk shops for their recycling businesses. The work is often degrading, dangerous, and bad to their health, especially to the little ones, the children. About 2,000 people made their living working at Smoky Mountain, and thousands more continue to sift through toxic garbage to eke out a living. Many of these people are children. They work all day and into the night with an average family of six earning about $2 a day. Cambodia is still one of the poorest countries in Asia. The years of war and the forced labor have destroyed the economy of this beautiful country. The people remain hopeful and find ways to meet their needs. Scavenging is an honest livelihood and it is not illegal. As long the landfill is there, the people could feed their children and keep their family alive. But there is more that can be done. Many charities have been set up to try to make a difference for the still thousands of people who rely on Cambodia's garbage dumps to make a living. And Thomas was so touched by his photo subject, Tira, that he decided to take action himself. I started to sponsor him for his school and for his welfare and healthcare. Now it has been eight years and Tira is now 19 years old. The life of the people that work in Cambodia's garbage dumps is clearly not an easy one. They work long hours for little pay in one of the world's worst environments. Despite these conditions, the children remain joyful as they have the company of their families and friends. There is time to play and time to work. Their mission of lives are often simple, to fill their stomach and to live another day. Did you know slums have a tourism industry? Our sister channel, Seeker Daily, did a video all about this controversial industry and the ethics surrounding it. Click here to watch now. Some types of slum touring, where residents are viewed like animals in a zoo, are in stark contrast to what others describe as a cultural exchange that can serve as a catalyst for progress. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.